What's good, YouTube? It's your boy 2K to God, my man Sus. Welcome to the Gods of Boxing Talk. Now, I wanted to to, to add to the uh, one of the most recent videos we did about Al Heyman. Um, is he in debt? Does he protect fighters? Um, such and such, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I wanted to add to that, maybe do a little part two, because recently he has come out again. His name stays in the fucking tabloids. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, you got you either got Steve Kim or Dan Raphael or one of Golden Boy's handlers, yep. you know, spokesmen and writers and shit, or one of top ranked spokesmen, handlers, writers and shit. Basically, they they say a lot of shit about Al Hammond being in debt. A lot of a lot of negative, you know, propaganda that's being spewed. Um, a lot of information about them uh, having lawsuits on them and things of that nature. <clears throat> then you've got others who report that PBC has high numbers right now. Um, they're successful. Mm -hmm. They report some of Al Heyman's dealings. Um, and then you, you sometimes you got to read between the line. They may not report like that. You may just get shit out there like, you know, Canelo versus Amir Khan, right? Yeah. And then you read the article or you read some of Amir Khan's tweets and you realize that Al Heyman had a hand in that and it's promoted by Golden Boy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You got to read things like, you know, um, <clears throat> Joshua and uh, uh, Charles Martin, right? Al Heyman had a hand in that, but it's promoted primarily by uh, Eddie Hearn, right? Mm -hmm. um, Dominic Wade and Triple G, Al Heyman again, has a hand in that, but it's promoted primarily by who? K2 and Tom Loeffler. Yep. So this tells you right here, right? It's just... You gotta read between the lines. Stop taking shit at face fucking value, right? Yep. This nigga is successful. And he's gonna be here for a while, people, whether you like him or not. Now, the whole point of this video, the part two, is to basically talk about how his name came up again. A, a, a regular TV station, sort of like CBS, NBC, you know what I'm saying? What, what is, what's the name of that Mexican one? Galavision? Telemundo. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The dip type channels we have here in the States, mm -hmm. there's one called ITV in the UK. And recently they're saying that they're looking to bring 20 fights a year on their network. They have one called ITV1 and ITV4, right? Um, and the front runner to spearhead this idea is none other than. Al Heyman. <laughs> Ain't that something. But now that I'm hold up, B. He's in $200 million debt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I got to shout out my man Bernard. My man Bernard said. My man Bernard said. I told him I was going to shout him too. He said, Al Heyman should write a book about how to stay in business while you're in debt. Yeah. Because... And I'm like, yo, this is some revolutionary ass shit. If he's really, <laughs> if this motherfucker is really in $200 million debt, right? Mm -hmm. And he's structuring, right? Continues to structure and head a failing brand and what's premier boxing champion, but he still gets business. Yeah. <laughs> Dog. Never seen anything like it. I've never seen this. Yo, Al, please tell me, B. How can I be a complete motherfucking failure yeah. and still make money and still get business? <laughs> How? How did you do it? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Ain't that some shit? And he just inked a good fighter recently. <laughs> he mm -hmm. just, just grew his stable even more. Now, all this shit that's out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all this shit that's out there, right? You think that fighter didn't just see all that bullshit before he inked with Al Heyman? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's because he has the inside connection as to what's really fucking going on. That's why fighters are still signing with him, even though all this bullshit-ass propaganda is out there. Yeah. <laughs> That's why motherfuckers are still doing business with them because they know what's really going on on the inside. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, you got these motherfucking media motherfuckers, and you got these people, these fans that can't stand them, who will try their hardest to try to get you to understand their bullshit that I said in the last video that they can't even fucking validate. You know what their validation is? 
Dan Raphael, Steve yep. Kim, yep. Golden Boy, yep. Top Rank, HBO, right? That's their validation. People who have come out and, and said that they have problems mm-hmm. with Al Heyman. Why would you believe a motherfucker and Steve Kim that basically said, and I quote once again, the PB brand, B, the PBC brand is shit. Why would you listen to what the fuck he has to say if he's already shown that level of bias? Exactly. Go ahead, man. Take it, man. Man. 2K, we're we going we gonna to have to get a segment where I can just disagree with you, man. I mean, <laughs> shit. The, 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 come on, people. This is, I mean, it, it, this, it's logic. All you have to do is use common fucking common sense. sense. Yep. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. I mean, shit. Yeah. You don't even have to do, like, no intense, just bare bone research. Nope. This shit is common sense. Bruh, you can go on the PBC website <laughs> and look at look at Al Hammond's fighters, right? Yeah. James DeGale. Who is he promoted by? Eddie Hearn. Yep, 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 yep. Carl Frampton. Who's he who's he promoted by? Mm-hmm. Eddie Hearn. Yes, sir. Lee Selby. Who who's he promoted by? Ah, oh, Eddie Hearn. I Amir mean, Khan. <laughs> who's he promoted by? Golden Boy. Yep. He's not just the manager of these motherfuckers and, you know, Al Heyman has a business here as a manager, but then the promoters are way the fuck over here and they have no dealings with Al Heyman. That's not how it works. They are a fucking team. Yes. You have a team of people who are trying to get the fighter's best interest. <laughs> and that includes the fucking managers and the promoters. They actively work together. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, 2K, I got me. I have to reference this comment again from old Bobby. What did he say? He oh. said, and I'm going to shout out to Dante's Boxing Nation yep. because he put this out there first. When he said fans, and he was talking about casual fans, yep. are like dumb rocks. Yep. You can kick them in any direction you want them to go. Yep. That's all Steve Kim and Dan Raphael do. Yep. They hang their hats on their accolades and their accomplishments and the brand that they represent. Well, Dan Raphael, you know, ESPN and all of that shit. They hang their hats on that so you don't do your research and so you don't try to read between the lines. And they put out this bullshit about Al Heyman and the PBC brand being whack and just being, you know, shit. I, 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 I mean, they put that out so you guys can stop right there yep. and not look at what's really going on. Yep. You know, and not look at the PBC numbers that are flying through the roof. Yep. You know, not look at how many fighters Al Heyman has signing with him. How yep. many fighters he's representing. You know, yep. I'm, it, it, it's just fucking ridiculous. At this point in time, if you don't see what Al Heyman is doing, if you don't see that Al Heyman is in every fucking corner of boxing, yep. I, I, I mean, you, you, you have some deep-seated biases that oh, go man. far past beyond the argument that you're trying to make. Yep. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. The dude has a hand in fucking everything. He's working with everybody. He's putting his fighters in the best position to get them paid. He's putting them in the best position to get some notoriety. He's putting these guys in the best position to fight on network television. Yep. I mean, come on, people. The dude has everybody on his stable. And you know what? You know what? Next time, I should have did it before the show. Next time, I'm going to find a rap sheet of all the fighters signed with Heyman. Mm. And I want you guys to hear some of the names that is under the Heyman banner in some way, shape, form, or fashion. He's working with these guys in some type of way. They may be promoted by somebody else, but they're advised by Al Heyman. Yep. Or, I mean, I mean so, so come on, people. Come on. It's, it's just ridiculous, man. Like, and, 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 and to, to counter the argument that I know is going to come out about, you know, well, you said... You contradict yourself, 2K. You said that uh, Al Heyman is doing business with Golden Boy. Then you turn around and say Golden Boy is in the media saying bad shit about Al Heyman. We've seen this before, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who was the other person 
that Golden Boy Promotions would be in the media killing, trying to kill his image anyway. But then in the background, be doing heavy business with him. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. yeah. Golden Boy would be out there killing that nigga shit in the media, right? Yeah. But then behind the scenes, them niggas was like, word, word. They, hey, hey dog, I appreciate money, that money, man. B, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, and then I guarantee you, Flo was like, yo, nigga, I got about 15 hoes in the back, my nigga. And then Oscar was like, for real? His married ass. Oh, shit, hell yeah, dog. Let me get some of them hoes. I guarantee it. But then in the media, he's like, oh, I can't stand Floyd Mayweather and this and this and that and that. It's the yeah. same shit. That's exactly what's going on. Right. It's just like politics. Exactly. It's <laughs> politics, man. Yep. It keeps it keeps the fucking beef there because it's a story. You can write about it. You understand, it's people? Cool. Y'all motherfuckers are falling right into this media propaganda. But it, it's as if, you know what? I, I really thought people had better sense. But I think they, I'm, obviously, I'm realizing they don't, bro. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what, 2K? You know what? <laughs> Donald Trump has truly shown me that people are just fucking ignorant. I mean, I don't mean to get real political on, on the show, but but the support that he has and that he's getting has truly shown me that yeah. people are ignorant. And in boxing, you know, it's no different, man. I mean, it, 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 it just goes to show, you know? I mean, I, I, I was just scrolling right now, man, and I just put in, the, in Google, Al Heyman inks deal. I'm seeing all these ink deals. I mean, some of them are, all, you know, have already been there. Yeah. But I've seen shit like Japanese fighter inks deal, Mongolian fighter inks. I mean, he's all wow. over the place. <laughs> wow. This motherfucker is all over the place, ink and deals. Now, another another uh, counter argument I, that we had on the last video was that, well, you know, he's doing all this shit, but at the end of the day, he's gonna fail, and that's fine. That's your opinion. Hey, hey, look, hey, we don't we don't foresee the future. We are telling you what the fuck is going on right now, all right? And based on what is going on right now, what we're seeing in front of us, right? All the shit that's being put out there on Al Heyman, it easily points to the ideal that this nigga is successful right now. Now, whether or not this nigga has formulated this master. Uh, a game plan to take over the world and shit, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To where he's trying to make everybody famish while he's the king of the world. It is what it is. If that's what the fuck he's doing, hey, it's a possibility that he could be doing that. We don't fucking know, right? Yeah. All we're telling you is this nigga's successful right now. Yep. And the success is played, is thrown out there. It's portrayed almost every single fucking day, regardless of what these biased ass motherfuckers have to say. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, yeah. it has come to my attention that, you know, me and Sess are major Al Heyman supporters, <laughs> right? We, we, we live and die by the Al Heyman code. I'm gonna tell you motherfuckers something right now. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you motherfuckers something right now, B. Our motto here is this, on the gods of boxing talk. Yep. We don't give a fuck who you are. You don't put food on my motherfucking table. You don't put clothes on my children's backs. You know what I'm saying? You don't You don't go give my wife that beautiful ass, good smelling perfume that she loves. I do that, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So as long as you ain't providing for me and my motherfucking family in any fucking way, I don't give a fuck who you are if you fuck up, right? You gon' get it. My man says right. feels it. My man says at home right now chilling. Yeah. He working. He working yeah. to survive on his own. <laughs> Ain't nobody putting no motherfucking money in this nigga's pocket but his employer. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So with that said, he ain't got no motherfucking agenda either to where we're like, hey, we're going to side with this guy because <laughs> we fucking love him. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> if Al Heyman was fucking up, he will get it. Exactly. Yeah. And he, he's, he's actually been criticized plenty of times on other videos, uh, primarily about how his fights have been possibly fixed, right? And about how he had bad decisions. Perfect example of this, Gerald Washington versus Amir Mansour and motherfucking Dominic Brazil and Fred Cassie. Me and Seth were vocal about that bullshit ass decision. You know what I'm saying? We don't have no fucking allegiance with anyone. Get that shit through your head before you go on the page and start fucking commenting. 
No right. allegiance. We not like y'all. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, I mean, anyway, man, is anything you want to add, B? Nah, I mean, you pretty much killed it right there. Yeah, <laughs> you man. know what I'm saying? So, but what it is. All right. So to close out, man, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Al Heyman, you know, he's like LeBron James. He has moved his talents to UK, just like Al right. Heyman. You know, LeBron moved his talents to, to the Al Heat Pete. back in 2010. But the only difference is Al Heyman is keeping his talents in the U.S. as well. Yeah. <laughs> so the motherfucker got talents in two different motherfucking places. Everywhere, man. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it is pretty much everywhere. You're right. And eventually, it will be everywhere, but it will be portrayed in the media. And everyone will know that this shit is everywhere, not just in the UK and the United States. YouTube, do what you do. I know a lot of motherfuckers are going to hate this video just on the basis that they hate Al Heyman for whatever fucking reason. Do what you do. Be real. This is real talk for real fans.